radio call come through that they've spotted the particular rhino that we're after up ahead in a nice open area. So we're just going to try and take off up there now as quick as we can before they move into potentially a forested area. the rhino to go down and the dart to take effect. Once we notice the drug starting to take an effect and the rhino is starting to look like it's going down, then we'll move in and be able to start the procedure. The rhino has just gone down, so we're going to move in now. It's starting to get a bit wobbly on his feet. drilled a little hole yeah. into the side of the rhino's Seven horn C. to insert a microchip. Yeah. One, two, you can see they're just drilling another hole. The rhino's not feeling any of this at all. The horns are just made out of keratin, which is the same stuff as our fingernails, which is like hardened hair. So drilling in there with the cordless drills, not causing the rhino any pain at all. While they've got the rhino down like this, they're going to try and get it much information from the rhino as possible. So you'll see they're measuring the width of the horn, the length of the horn. I give a blindfold on the rhino, which is just another way of helping it, keeping it calm. So I can't see anything what's going on. Although the drug is taking effect. Just another way of relaxing it as much as possible. All the rhinos here on Pinda have been ear notched so that the rangers can, with the binoculars, be able to talk straight away from a quite a safe distance which rhino it is and have that information on hand. Although the ear notching might look quite painful and there's a bit of blood around, the, um, the veins will heal up very, very quickly. Just monitoring now to make sure he wakes up and everything's okay. Gets back on his feet and then he can go and find his buddy again. Not that he remember anything. So. <laughs> everything looks okay. He's back on his feet. 189, as he's now known, and he's wandering off trying to find his mate. He won't remember the whole process, so <laughs> he looks like he's in a bit of a daze. And that's how it's done. <laughs> this is the best part. It's really fantastic to be here and be hands-on involved in a project like this. Uh, the white rhino population here at Pinder is managed very, very well. Uh, poaching is still a big problem in this area, and so the work that's been done with these rhinos here uh, to safeguard against potential poaching and the management of them is very important.